Good morning, Hope City. My name is Adam. I'm one of the youth leaders here. And this past Sunday, we went over Genesis 25. So today's Daily Devo, we're going to be focusing on Genesis 25, specifically verses 30 through 34. So in Genesis 25, um, you see Jacob and Esau come to the picture. That's Isaac and Rebecca's children. And um, for me, the, the biggest thing that stood out was the exchange of the birthright. So if, when you start at verse 30, it says, And Esau said to Jacob, Let me eat some of that red stew, for I am exhausted. Therefore his name was called Edom. Jacob said, Sell me your birthright now. Esau said, I am about to die. Of what use is my birthright to me? Jacob said, Swear to me now. So, so he swore to him and sold his birthright to Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and lentil stew, and he ate and drank and rose and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. So I don't know about you guys, but whenever I read that, I always thought that was kind of a dirty move of Jacob. I mean, he's starving, and um, Jacob's just like, you want some food? Give me everything you got. Give me your birthright. So uh, kind of a messed up move. But when on that, the, point, the important verse is in 34 when it says, thus Esau despised his birthright. That just shows how little Esau actually cared for the birthright. That's like your family's blessings, like your inheritance, and he just threw that all away for one meal. And, um, and you can see that Esau actually does regret this later. If you turn with me to Hebrews, it's going to be in Hebrews 12, verses 15 through 17. It says, See to it that no one fails to obtain the grace of God, that no root of bitterness springs up and causes trouble, and by it many become defiled that no one is sexually immoral or unholy like Esau, who sold his birthright for a single meal. For you know that afterward, when he desired to inherit the blessing, he was rejected. For he found no chance to repent, though he sought it with tears. And we often do this with God's blessings and salvation. We live in this temporary world, and we get distracted by it, and it's attractive, and we go to do these things of the world, but... They're just so temporary, but we get lost in it, and we sell an eternity of blessings and salvation. Um, and you see how Esau did this. He, he traded his birthright for a single meal. And um, it just shows that, like, when God promises us eternal love and peace and joy, yet we look at the things of the world, and we're like, oh, no, let me do this. Let me, let me live in the world. Yet all that brings is pain, suffering, and eventually death. Um, so let us be like Jacob who understands that that birthright was important and he wanted it. Um, and to not just do the things of this world, but to look forward to and hold on to the promises of God. Um, this help, help us to like hold on to that, like as we go through our lives, that the things of this world may look appealing and desirable, but it's just a vapor in the end and that the eternal promises and love of God is what really matters. Um, thank you for today's Daily Devo, and I'll see you next time.